Back to the future. And that's where we're going to go. Back to the future. Manure! I hate manure! Morning, folks. It's a lovely day. It's February. Time to crack on. No time for a cup, though. I'm getting ready. I've got a delivery. And I want to get it all before the vultures come and get it. So, get me boots on. First of all, check. <laughs> Tell you about the time. One time I was broken into and someone had a poo in my shoe. <laughs> so lucky I seen it, like otherwise I would have put my foot straight in it. But anyway, I hope everyone is doing all right in that and uh, being able to crack on on the gardens. Don't forget it's too early up here in the northeast of England to grow anything just yet. But it'll be there soon. So don't worry. Be patient. That's the thing. Be patient. Rome wasn't built in a day. Right. I'm going to crack on. Get this uh, delivery sorted out. See you in a bit. Right. I've just come into the car park bit there. That's where they usually dump the wood chips. But today has been dumped a load of cow manure. I went half as with my mate there, 40 pound and uh, two ton. So I've got this ton here, 20 pound each. It's got my flag on so nobody pinches anything. Davies Gold, keep off. <laughs> I sound, I'm going to pick that up later folks. Don't think I've just dropped it on the floor. So this is going to keep us busy. I'll need a cup after all this. Crack on! Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment? Get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Right, just another 15 of them and we're ready to rock. Season a bit. Well, I've just made myself a cup of there because I, I deserve it. I'm only halfway through, like, but it's getting there. Tell you what, though, if you uh, want to warm up, shovel some shite. That'll warm you up, I read. So, that, like I say, there's another load to go yet. So, I'll finish this and I'll crack on. Season a bit. Right, that's that. Manure sorted. You know, I've been saying all day, like for the past two hours, that's how long it's taken us two hours to get all of the barrel, barrel loads there into the garden. And I was thinking all the time, you know, back to the future, where he goes, Manure! I hate manure! That's what I've been thinking for the past two hours. But I don't hate manure. Anyway, look, I, I, I didn't plan this, folks. My mate's coming over. I'm going to make him a cuppa. So I brought a cup from the house. Back to the future. And that's where we're going to go. Back to the future. By using cow manure. Aye, the reason I got this, I'll just spin you around, folks. There it is. All of that there. Black gold. Now, the reason I decided to get some this year is because I was looking at me old gardening videos I just spin your back round. I was I was looking through me old allotment videos from ten years ago, and that was the last time I put some manure down, and uh, my crops were fantastic. Now, why am I saying back to the future? Because I'm going to go back, and cow manure is the future. <laughs> Let's go back to the old school, the way it used to be, because uh, you know you can do what you want, but. At the end of the day, you kind of beat a bit of manure on the, on the soil. So I'll spin you back round. Aye, this will stay here. It's quite well rotted down. But I'll leave it for a couple more months. Um, and on this side, for example, I'll be doing me potato trenches by double digging. That's two spades depth down. 
double dig and then I will put a layer of cow manure on the bottom and fill the trench back in about a month before I put my potatoes in and that will be champion and the rest can get spread round there's that fire I had last week as you can see it's almost gone just a few bits there left to burn once that's done I'll be able to concentrate on getting this all dug over I'm quite pleased with uh, what I've achieved today can it beat it that'll do me and I'll tell you what I'll do is now a cuppa so I'll see you in a bit well that'll do me time for a cuppa Right folks, that's me just about done. It's getting on to five o'clock now. It's still a little bit late, so I should be able to show you around. I'm absolutely jiggered, folks. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a young man's game all of that day. Shoveling, tell you. But you've got to get it done while you can, because there'll be one day when you can't. Anyway, I'll spin you around. I'll show you this. Looks like it's going to be a nice sunset. Spin spin there look at that should be nice later on a little bit there uh, red sky at night shepherd's delight now nah, lad Aye, i've been pottering around i've cleared the bed there where the fire was and spread the embers around because that's what you should do like i was saying on one of my little short videos make a fire but like try and make little fires all over the place just wood or weeds and then spread all of the embers all over the place and it'll get rid of the the weeds and it'll also fertilize the soil and so will this I the reason I got this in the first place is because like I say I was watching my videos from 10 years ago I'll just spin you around I was watching my videos from 10 years ago and my vegetables after I'd put the cow manure in were fantastic. So forget about all of these new fangled things folks. Go back to the future. The future is cow manure. I'm telling you. <laughs> if you can get your hands on it, get it. It was £40 for two tonne and that two tonne is a lot of cow cow pat <laughs> um, well I'll just spin you back round anyway show you what else I've been doing at kettle boils so I black gold that I mean that's what they used to use in the olden days so I'm going to go back to using old methods get them get them uh, resurrected I've just been messing about here in this hugel bed I've dug the rest of this behind the greenhouse so I've dug there now. So obviously this bay tree has to stay there. So I'll just flatten it all around and even it out a bit. But I was digging here, and like I, I say, this was a Hugel culture bed, which I thought, ah, that'll be a good idea. But I never got round to finishing it off and all that. But the stuff that I did put down there which was wood chips uh, and leaf mould and stuff like that after two years it's turned into quite nice stuff so I'm sort of pleased I did it in a way it'll all be getting used one day or the other day uh, I don't know what I'm saying now folks I'll spin you out there so this side is almost done and ready to go now so I'm looking forward to the spring looking forward to getting some crops grown warm weather now nah, that lovely look at that sky now man fantastic I think I might put a little bit of a time-lapse video on because it looks kind of cool that like right I'll see if I can zoom into that
Lovely. Even more. Fascinating the sky, man, isn't it? The wonders of the world. Right, enough of that. See you in a bit. Well, that was a canny sunset, wasn't it, folks? Very good. Anyway, that's me done. Before it gets too dark, I'm going to go home, edit this video and all that kind of thing. So I'll see you on the next one, which will be next week. Because it's time to crack on. <laughs> uh, so, as always, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing. It really is appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. And do whatever. <laughs> Bye.